Hey folks, new recording studio today. I'm in a Chevrolet pickup truck, but we're down by the river where I love to be. And uh, I just read some scripture and um, it's, it's, it's referred to as the road to Emmaus. Uh, Emmaus was a, was a community uh, like seven miles from Jerusalem. But I just think an application to this, uh, to this little excerpt, uh, is anybody, anybody like to go on a long walk? You ever take a long walk? Um, anyways, these, these two followers of Christ, um, subsequent to, uh, to uh, the crucifixion and the burial of Jesus, um, three days on the other side of this, um, this reality, um, they had uh, the the Mary Magdalene and and uh, Joanna and I, I believe there are three women uh, that um, had the encounter at the tomb. But they had told the disciples that they went to anoint the body of Jesus. They visited the grave and uh, and uh, they didn't find the body. Um, they had an encounter with an angel. <laughs> this is great because this is like. I listen to myself, I'm by myself here and I listen to myself speak this and it's like a sci-fi movie, but you know, um, I, I believe this and it's, it had to be amazing. I have, uh, I have a certain amount of spiritual envy. I, I'd love for, I'd love to have an encounter with an angel at, at a, at a grave site and, and rather than finding a body, I'd rather that the angel looked me in the eye like he did the, the these women and he says, why seek ye the living amongst the dead? He's not here. He's alive. He's risen. Well, anyways, these women, they went and, um, in, I'm sure in their zeal and excitement, they went and shared with the disciples that the grave was empty and that uh, uh, they had this encounter with an angel and that Jesus was alive. Well, anyways, so these two, two of the disciples, at least two of them, they walked from Jerusalem to this city uh of Emmaus, which is uh, uh, approximately seven miles. And when I get on the treadmill, it takes me about 15 minutes a mile. So I'm thinking somewhere around a two hour walk, that's a pretty good jaunt, it's a pretty good hike. Um, and there is a literal road to Emmaus, if I understand correctly, that still exists today. Um, it's about one car length in width. And, uh, and, and so you got these two men in their they're walking and talking, taking this uh, long walk, um, approximately approximately two hours, and they're consumed. Um, their conversation, at least, is consumed with with the ramifications of uh, of what these women had uh, conveyed that the the tomb was empty and that Jesus was alive. And so they're 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 talking about they're talking about the, I'm sure the. The life of Jesus and the miracles and all the incredible things that happened um, while he was ministering, but they, they're also, I'm sure, talking about the crucifixion and um, in, in his death, in burial, and uh, now uh, entertaining the resurrection um, in the third person, subject to the to what had been conveyed to them. But but Jesus is the is the subject matter, and the coolest thing happens. And try to get a picture of this and try to put this in context, um, if you if you would. Here you are walking on this narrow path and this, this uh, two-hour journey. And the very subject matter of your conversation appears right in your midst. And he, he takes the remainder of the journey with you. So you're walking, you know, arm in arm and, you know, in close proximity to say the least. <laughs> And he comes along, and this is cool, and I don't understand this, but, but he said, you know, they didn't know who he was. And, uh, you know, my first impression, it says their eyes were uh, um, I, I, not open to who he was, or, or they, they just didn't know who he was. And, you know, it's easy to say, come on, you should have known who he was, and this and that. But I don't know about you, but I've never walked with anyone that had, had risen from the dead before, and, and, and I suspect that uh, my perception would be a would be a little off um, had that been the case in your life or mine. But anyways, so Jesus, he comes along in their midst, in the, in the midst of their walk, and he says to them, <laughs> he goes, hey guys, how's it going? What are, what are you talking about? What, what, what's, what's, what, what's, what, why are you so downtrodden? What's, what's happening here? And then they elaborated 
uh, about all the stuff that I just told you. And of all the things um, that intrigue me, um, Jesus, you know, he didn't just uh, stop and, um, you know, say, boo, you know, boo, it's me. And, and you ding dong should have gotten it or you should you should have known that because you know because um, you know the scriptures and you know the prophecies and you know the promises he didn't do that and yeah he did what a Bible study that must have been he he uh, he, he basically it says it, the, the scripture says that he started in in Moses so he starts in the beginning and, and he and he gets up to that um, point in time in in history when all these things had unfolded and he said look you know this is the way it was supposed to play out this is the way it was supposed to unfold he said why are you tripping over this why are you struggling with this why are you finding it so hard to believe he said look you know you you you, you should have known and you should embrace this as the truth and and anyways try to imagine that 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 the very subject of their conversation, the Lord Jesus, the resurrected Christ, incidentally, um, who, the, who the Bible refers to as the Word, the Word in the person of Jesus is giving them a dissertation and a Bible study on the Word of God, uh, um, on, on the promises of God, and, and ultimately, you know, the fulfillment of that specific promise that, uh, um, that he would be raised up in three days. Well, anyways, they didn't get it, and they didn't, they didn't, they just didn't recognize him, and and, and this part really, um, I think, is powerful. And if you don't get any more out of this or you don't get any more stirred out of this than this alone, it, it's, you know, I'm under the impression um, that he walked with them for a long period. After all, how long does it take to get from <laughs> in the beginning to, to the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ? And, uh, and, and, and so... Um, they get they get to their they get to their uh, destination Emmaus, and then this really subtle but really cool thing um, happens. It says that Jesus made as though he would go on. Um, he he was it was as if he said, "Okay, guys, you know um, uh, I've enjoyed your company. It's been nice meeting you. Um, uh, um, you know, God bless you. I'll." I'll I'll see you another time, um, cause, cause, cause I'm gonna go on, and I got things to do, places to go, and people to see, and <laughs> and I and I gotta get on with it. But the these two followers, these two disciples, said the most incredible thing, very, very subtle, but but not so subtle if you read into it. They it says it says they they um they they ask him to stay. They they. They uh, oh let me it, it's it's sitting on my lap um, it, oh they, it says they this is the word constrained him and ask him they asked Jesus if hey couldn't you hang out with us for a little while you know um, and I'm gonna just take the liberty of embellishing this but I, I believe they said look you know man we don't know who you are or what you're all about but you know we really you really stirred us while you were sharing with us and. And there's something about you. There's something about you that we really would like to get to know a little better. And and uh, I, I just like being around you and in your company. And hey, why don't you hang out with us tonight? It's getting late, and you know you're probably hungry. Why don't you have dinner with us and hang out with us tonight? And man, and so the story goes that that Jesus did that. He did just that. He 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 just he stopped. And 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 anyways, the next thing you know, they're having dinner together and he broke the bread and and you know the next thing you know their eyes were opened and they knew who he was they recognized him and I think to myself man that's wow wow um, you never never you never know what's gonna happen when you go on a long walk or a long hike and you never know who's going to go with you, and you never know how it's going to play out or what's going to take place. But subsequent to that long walk, subsequent to that long talk, that that being in the presence, in the company of Jesus for for that period of time, and then giving, inviting him to hang out and stay with him, subsequent to all that, their eyes were opened, and they had their first encounter with a resurrected Christ. 
I just can't help but imagine what that did for them. And I'll bet you they, they didn't. I'll bet you they didn't stay in Emmaus that night. I'll bet you they were in whole. I'll bet. I'll bet the trip back to Jerusalem was way shorter than the trip to Emmaus. Um, I'll bet you they ran all the way back. Because, uh, because after all, I just can't imagine keeping that to yourself uh, any more than the women could when they went to that empty grave and had their own encounter. But you know, there's a, there's there's a million and one things here and. And, and I don't want to be flippant here, but I, I, there's a couple things that occur to me that are really profound. In spite of the fact they didn't have a handle on this resurrection, in spite of the fact they didn't get it completely, um, they were talking about Jesus nonetheless, and he was, the, he was the subject matter and the common denominator in their conversation. And the amazing thing is the Bible says, when you draw nigh to God, he'll draw nigh to you. And the Bible also says, where two or more are gathered in my name, and there I am in the midst um, thereof. You know, and Jesus got all over that hike like a blanket, and and he was there, and man, that is powerful. And then the thing that I told you that, that I would have loved to have been in that Bible study. I've been in some good Bible studies in my day, but I can't imagine the Word teaching the Word or sharing like Jesus shared with them. And, and, and incidentally, on the other end of this, after Jesus left and their eyes were open, it says, didn't your heart burn? You know, that's called Holy Ghost heartburn. Um, it, it, you know, and, and, and uh, I'd like to experience that a, a, a time or a hundred. But uh, the other thing, and, and this is what I really ultimately believe is the most powerful and profound thing that happened. Um, they invited Jesus to stay and to hang out with them. And any time we do that, and hear this today. Anytime that you or I or any of his creation invite him to hang out, anytime that he's the priority and 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 he's the one we'd rather be with than anyone or any anywhere else, um, he responds to that. And um, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. I love you today. I hope that stirs you like it stirred me.